Hi everyone, Sarah here. Um, I wanted to do a quick tutorial with the Copic markers. Um, just how I do my color on top of color. Uh, basically with these balloons and also with the uh, skirt on this uh, little blue buttons image. Um, I've already colored her skin just because it makes it easier. I just colored that one because I was doing it too at the same time. So basically I just wanted to show you that um, I try and pick most of the sheer type colors. So any of the triple zeros or just like zero one. I just use two colors. Um, sorry, like two for the one color. So for this one for blue, I'm using B triple zero and B zero one. And then I've also picked out purple. Sometimes I do pink, but I picked out purple. I have BV triple zero and BV double zero. So the triple zeros and double zeros are more of a sheer color. So that's kind of why I picked those. I'm sure you could do it with others. And I'm sure there's all kinds of other tutorials out there. People have just asked me how I do mine. So let me see. I'll zoom in. I'm also just giving this a try out to see how this works. Alright, so I'm going to color her bathing suit in purple. And you can see how I've already colored the skin exactly where it should be, even though there's no lines in here. I've colored her other leg in there. So I'm going to color the bathing suit in the purple and then I'm going to do her skirt in blue. So I start off with my lightest color first. And I'm just kind of trying to do this quick too. And also because the camera's there, I can't really lean in like I normally do. So. Probably not my greatest coloring job, but we'll see. Just adding in a quick shadow here. And then blend it out. Because these two colors are pretty close together too, you're not going to see a huge um, difference. But basically you can sh uh, shade even with one Copic marker. You don't need more than two colors. You basically just keep coloring in with that same color until you get the look that you want. Because the more marker that you layer, um, the more color that you're going to get. So. Alright, so. There's her bathing suit. And now I'm going to take the blues and do her skirt. So it's just like a sheer little overskirt. And basically you just take your color and go right over top. So you can already see that your leg kind of gets a little bit of a different color. Not much, just a little bit. And I'm going to do two layers. And then I'm going to take my B01 and I'm going to do um, just a little shading by my folds here. And I'm not doing a ton, just a little bit. And then just pulling the color up. Oh, and then I'm going to because I'm going around a box that's here. <laughs> My makeshift tripod. 
So there it is. It's a sheer skirt over her bathing suit. And you can see her legs. You can see her bathing suit. Super cute. Alright, so for the balloons. I'm going to do the same thing. And because these two colors, purple is more of the darker color tone, I'm going to do the purple first. And I always do this balloon in the back first. Because to me, that's the one in the background. Because you have your big line out here. So I'm going to take my BV000. And I'm going to color in the whole balloon. All the way around. And with the balloons, I pretty much do my darker shade down at the bottom. And bring it up like that. To make the balloon look rounded. And then just blend it out. So there's my first balloon. And then again you're just going to do the same thing and take your lighter color first. So this one's going to be the B000 and color in the whole balloon. And then I'm going to take the B01 and do my darker shade at the bottom. I'm also going to add a little bit at this top corner here. Sorry, my window's open and the neighbors are out. <laughs> so you get for being in a subdivision. And I try not to do too much because as you can see it's taking away your purple so I don't want to take away my purple color. So I just blend it out. I'm just going to do a little bit up there. Alright. So there we go. My see-through balloons. And there's the see-through skirt. Okay. So leave a comment, subscribe if you wish, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.